lives. Oh, well, you don't have to lie to me and say that. I've been here, I know. <laughs> but I'm sure some stuff in this bag will cheer you up. Bought you a few hoodies. Oh, my gosh. Cute, huh? ah, so cute. Yeah, and I threw in some Belgian chocolate and even a satin pillowcase for you. Wow, that is so wonderful. You did not have to do that. Thanks for liking it. You know what? I have a few different colors in here and some tabloids. Oh, you did not. Yeah. Well, you know, it's nice to know that the rich and famous, you know, are as messed up as we are, if not more. Oh, this is great. You did not have to do this. Oh, you seem to be handling this place awful well. Well, yeah, I mean, it was awful for a while, but, uh, things changed. What things? I found a reason to hope. You know, I'm lucky believes that Lulu may be headed for a complete breakdown. I know. He blames me. Yes, he does. He thinks that sending you to jail is the only thing that'll save Lulu, but I happen to disagree with him, and here's why. Lulu's in love with you, and she blames herself for everything that happened to Logan. And she'll blame herself for whatever happens to you as well. So it's in her best interest for me to help you. And that's what I'll do. But you need to tell me what you need. Lulu needs to stay off the stand. No matter what happens. Why does she need to stay off the stand? She'll fall apart. She won't even know what she's saying. Well, what are you afraid that she'll say? What does she know about Logan's death that we don't? Soapnet.com is the place. Does Lulu know something that can be used against you in court? It's not what Lulu knows, it's her state of mind. My father wants my lawyers to break her down on the stand. He wants them to convince the jury that she's crazy, and she made the hostility between me and Logan so bad that he finally came after me. And then you had to defend yourself. That's right. Well, given what's at stake here for you, you might want to listen to your father. You know, this is some test to see if I'll throw your sister under the bus to save my own ass. You're wasting your time. All I care about is Lulu. She needs to get well. No matter what happens to me. And if she ends up in that courtroom or on that witness stand, she'll be gone forever. To all of us. I know what it's like to be here. You, know, you have to listen to your doctors, take your meds, no questions asked, what you're told. Yeah. But you need to be honest, Lulu. Especially with yourself. I guess you heard what happened at the PCPD. I heard bits and pieces. I talked Jason into saying that he was my brother and signing me out for a visit. I mean, I needed to see Johnny, be with him, for even a few minutes. And I was. And it was wonderful. And then I saw, um, Logan. I, I've been seeing him. It's why I'm here. It's, uh, I see him a lot. And it's pretty terrifying, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I was very scared, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. Lucky brought me back. I had my session with Lainey and talked to some people. What people? Other patients. It really helps. I know I'm going to get through this. I am a lot stronger than I thought I was. <laughs> That's great. I mean, I am. I'm scared, you know, and I, I'm scared about Johnny, but the best thing that I can do is to focus on getting well. The sooner the better. <laughs> I mean, I know I shouldn't be so surprised that you're doing so well because you're strong and you're tough and you're resilient, but... If you need someone to talk to, I want you to know that you can trust me. I'm not going to judge you. And I promise you I won't tell anybody what you tell me. You really are the best. Mom, it's me. Okay. It's okay. You said this was going to happen, so... I just wanted to say that I love you. Hi. It's all right. I was just resting. I can leave if you want. No. No. Being with you is 
was the best medicine I could possibly have. Me too. Mm. I'm getting stronger. <gasps> uh, it feels good. I'm getting stronger too. Good. We're gonna get better and we're gonna show them, right? Oh, yes. Yes, we will. I just wanted to say good night. Come here. Come on. You would fight sleep for as long as you possibly could. <laughs> you were so afraid that you might miss something. But then, you finally let your eyes close. Because you would always say the same thing. Hmm. May angels on the wings of night watch over you until the morning light.